Appledore Island has been used for many purposes during its time. From the fishing communities to the hotel era. And during World War II, it was a lookout for German submarine activity. Today, the island is used to house students who attend the Shoals Marine Lab, conducted by the universities of New Hampshire and Cornell. The Appledore House was one of the first summer hotels in New England. It was completed and opened for guests the summer of 1848. It was a haven for over 60 years for New England authors and artists, as well as sea-loving guests. Celia Thaxter was one of the main attractions on Appledore Island during the 1880s. Although Celia was best known for her writing and a protege of Jean Greenleaf Whittier, visitors to the island during her lifetime marveled at her spectacular flower garden. Among the guests were well-known Nathaniel Hawthorne, Henry Thoreau, Franklin Pierce, and Harriet Beecher Stowe. Her book, An Island Garden, and illustrated by artist Child Hassam, provided exact details so that today's garden recreates as near as possible the one that Celia labored in 150 years ago. Volunteer efforts from the local communities along with the university system are maintaining its natural life form. Celia Thaxter and husband Levi summered on the island, but usually returned to Boston area for the winter. During the time away from the islands that she loved, Celia wrote long letters to her family, who stayed on Appledore year-round. Her poem, Landlocked, written in 1860 and sent to her brother Cedric, found its way to the editor of the Atlantic Monthly and was published in 1861. The poem was well received by the New England literary community and Celia soon became a respected author. Her Boston literary friends, charmed by her personality as well as her writing, began to visit Celia during the summer on the Isles of Shoals.
Appledore's romantic era came to a close in 1914 when the hotel and several nearby associated buildings burnt to the ground. Appledore Island, abandoned since the end of World War II, was selected in 1971 as the site for the Shoals Marine Laboratory. A cooperative venture of two universities, University of New Hampshire and Cornell University. Constructed and opened in 1973 by Dr. John Kingsbury, Shoal Marine Lab has established a national reputation for excellence and has grown to be North America's largest marine field station focusing on undergraduate education. Participants observe plants and animals in their natural habitats. A lean from a whale A wolf fish. Shoals Marine Lab creates a unique opportunity to study marine science in a setting noted for its geology and history. Appledore is relatively unspoiled, isolated environment. Great glaciers scoured its basin. A myriad species inhabit its waters. Early explorers risk their lives searching for safe harbors along its shores. The island is the summer home for more than six species of wading seabirds. The recent glaciation sea level change and wave erosion are among some of its studies. Gulls and eiders can be observed in a natural setting while they exhibit behaviors associated with territoriality, breeding biology, and predator-prey interactions. Baby Eiders.
Field and lab exercises include collection and identification of algae from intertidal and subtidal habitats and tide pool community surveys. Kelp Gardens. Apple